People do not remember what you say. They remember how you make them feel. Now this idea is kind of silly because you spend so much time worrying about what you're going to say. But so much of life is about how you make others feel. And I think that's a big thing with the National Honor Society. Looking at your pillars and what you do in the community and things like that. So let me get this in focus by pushing it back. All right, perfect. Basically, this idea of people not remembering what you say and remembering how you make them feel is what I've done in the last six years of my life. I kind of go into every interaction I have with people with that idea in mind. That idea that if I can leave this interaction with the person remembering something and, making, and me making them feel a certain way, like energized or feel like they just got a compliment on their shirt, even. And sure, a great introduction. Truer words have never been spoken. Because literally, as he said, here's a picture of my past. This is my father with the wolves. Here's a picture of my childhood. Or maybe not. Maybe I wasn't raised by wolves. But the connection is that we all have a history. We all have a family. We all, we all have our own situation. So here's my brothers. They both have their own businesses. They wake up in the morning and they do exactly whatever they want to do. And they let their creativity basically lead them in the direction of what they want to do with their life, which is sweet. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to teach students. I wanted to inspire the youth. So I'm so excited to be here today to talk with you. Here's another picture of my crazy wolf family. Um, the idea of having a family and having a past is a great starting point and it's going to lead you throughout your life. But when it comes down to it, each of you are, is an individual. And how you can change the world has a lot to do with you individually. And your family is a great starting point, it's a great backbone, but it's going to be the decisions that you make in your life that's going to be a great thing and hopefully change the world. So we're going to move on to some little bit more maybe relevant. First off, you're in NHS. This is a huge step towards becoming awesome. It's a huge deal. This is a big day. Even though it might not seem like it because there are crowds of people around you and there isn't like literally an auditorium full of people, but guess what? Someday that could be the case when you're receiving a different award because of your service, your leadership, and all these different wonderful things that you're focusing on in your life. We constantly talk about change, right? You hear about change all the time. How can you change the world? How can you become better? Well, in my situation and in my life, change looks a lot like hard work. It looks a lot like studying for a test so that when you take the test, you actually do well on it. Because if you don't study for the test, you're probably not going to end up with the grade that you want. So you're not going to change your life by getting a better grade and so on and so on. Um, so what you need to do is invest in that time that it takes to do well. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself because that will in tune make the, your neighbor, make your life better, make the rest of the world's life better. That's the whole idea of public education, is that people all around Utah are paying for you to go to school. You're a public school, right? You don't pay your own tuition. People all around the state of Utah are investing in you to make the world better, to somehow affect their life in a positive way. It's kind of like a crazy idea. You don't really think about that too often, but all these people that don't even, like it's not your family members, it's all these random people who think, maybe someday you'll invent you know, something that will affect them, that will make their life better. Or maybe someday you'll stand up for a cause that will in tune change their life and make it better. Um, each of you has your own unique situation. Each of you come in here with your own talents, your own thing that you're into, whatever it may be. But there's one, backbone of all of, the, all of the unique people in this room, and that's the pillars of NHS. That's leadership, scholarship, service, character. And what a wonderful thing to bring us all together. I mean, how cool is that? Leadership, scholarship, service, character. If you can literally spend your life working towards those things and, and focusing on those things, your life's just going to be awesome. 
and you're going to make so many other more, so many other people's lives awesome too. So, okay, it's FDR, president from the past. He says, with great power comes great responsibility. Might have also heard of it in a Spider-Man movie or something like that. He was actually the president. That's not the first. <laughs> so your responsibility. And with great power comes great responsibility. Guess what? You all have a computer, right? If you don't have one, I don't know how you're doing in our school, but this is great power. This would be like some crazy magician trick from back in the day that people would come and be like, wow, how does that thing do all those things? And it's relatively new. You guys all have a computer, which means you have great power. You have the opportunity to do a lot of good with that device. And you have a lot of good, or a lot of opportunity to do service, to do leadership, to do all those different wonderful pillars that you're focusing on that's brought in here today. You can do it through that device from home. How crazy is that? And how cool is that? So I dream big. I have all these wonderful aspirations and these huge dreams. And then I ask myself each day, how can I get there? So I dream of things not like, I want to be the president of the United States. That's personally, that wouldn't maybe be something that I would be good at. But I dream things like, how can I change my world? How can I change the world of people that are surrounding me? How can I actually make a difference in someone's life? How can I see the world in a different viewpoint, but also just see the world, because I love to travel. So each day as I'm taking a step forward in my goals, Guess what? Today you're making a huge stride for it. Literally, like, I don't know, you see the Olympics and someone is doing like the long jump. That's you today, being a part of NHS if you're new. And if you're continuing on in NHS, that's you for more than one day. That's awesome. You have these focus on these things that are really important. And you're focusing on your academic success, the future of basically the world. So much effort is spent on our own situation, our own history, but not enough effort is spent on how we can make history. History that will help people. Because that's what so much of this is about, is how can we help people? Whenever you go out and you do a service activity, you probably come home and you have a better appreciation for your own life, right? Because when you go and help someone else, usually you see that you have a lot of good things. You have a lot of wonderful things going on in your life that maybe someone less fortunate doesn't have. And it makes you really realize those things. So I want you to really, when you are going to these service activities, focus on what you're doing and how you can do it more. And then one thing that's often missed with service activities is this. Don't forget about how you can serve others through your computer, how you can be a good friend. You know, shoot them a message. I love doing this. You know, I use Facebook with family members, so I'll just send them a message saying, you know what, you're absolutely a rock star in my eyes. Those times and those things that you've done for me, I appreciate them. Just because we don't have a written letter, we don't have to constantly be sending it, doesn't mean we should stop sending it. Now, if people really don't remember what you say, they'll probably go home and in the next two days forget about everything that I'm saying, and that's okay with me. But what I want you to do is I want you to go home and remember how I made you feel, and I hope I made you feel important Important because of the things you're doing. Important because of the fact that you're in IMS, because I think that's awesome. Important because the decisions that you're making today can then bring you to a place tomorrow. And eventually, usually with how it works with hard work, is it's like a year from now, two years from now, or months and months of hard work, and then you get somewhere they want to be. But those day-to-day -day tasks that will get you there, to that big goal, to that big dream, is why you're important. Because so many of you in here have already proved that you can do the work. You know, you've done the academic work that's brought you here, and you continue to do all these other things that have brought you here. So how cool is that? So I want you to go out, change the future, make the world better, not for me, but do it for someone that, you know, has a rough life, that need someone to come in and invent something that would actually change their life. So go change the world, hoorah, hoorah, you know, basically be awesome. And think about the pillars of NHS as you go beyond school, as you go outside of your computer. Think about them as you're just basically interacting with people and interacting with each other.
Thank you.